Welcome back to the Brothers Workshop. As always, I'm Sean, and today we're back at it with patches. We pulled her into the shop because a few days ago when I was out on a little vacation, I started hearing some weird noises under the hood. So I pulled over on the drive, turned the truck off, popped the hood, walked over to the engine, and saw that the radiator fan was running and running extremely high. And I knew that was kind of weird because I had the keys in my hand and the truck was off. So I looked it up and I found out that the temperature sensor is a main culprit of this. After I found that out, I ran on down to our local auto parts store, got a new one, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to install it. If you're interested in this particular part, you can find a link to it in the description below. Hopefully this video helps you guys out, and if it does, go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you stay up to date on all the videos pertaining to the 2014 to 2019 Chevy Silverado and GMC Zero that we have and the new ones yet to come. While you're at it, go ahead and give the video a like, that way we know you actually liked it and it was helpful. And if you're interested, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Brothers Workshop. There you'll stay up to date on videos and fun activities that we don't post here on YouTube. All right guys, first thing you're gonna do is locate the hood release. Found right here under the steering column. Pull that real quick. Now we gotta find out where that sensor is. Located here on the right side of the motor is gonna be the thermostat. As you can kinda of see where I'm pointing here. Next to the thermostat on the left side is gonna be the sensor. The best view of the sensor we're gonna get is from the top. You can see it there to the left of the thermostat. All we have to do is unhook it, unscrew it, but make sure that we do this while the engine's cool because we are gonna lose a little coolant and uh, we don't want to squirt at us and be hot. So when I went to the parts store, I picked up the Doorlast brand temperature sensor. There's a bunch of different numbers on here. So instead of me telling you the part number and not being really sure which one it is, I'm going to have this linked in the description below. And there you have it guys. Pretty simple part. Hopefully it'll be an easy fix. The only tools you guys are going to need for this is a 19 millimeter deep well socket with an extension and a needle nose set of pliers. Using the deep well socket is going to make it super easy for you guys. That way you don't damage the connection for the electronics. Before we install the new temperature sensor, we're going to put Teflon tape around the threads to ensure we have a nice tight seal and we don't have any leaks. Take your needle nose pliers and release the wire connecting to the sensor. There's a little tab you pull back and away. And then all you have to do is unhook it. Now take your socket and you can start to unscrew the sensor itself. Once it got to the end, I unthreaded it with my hand. But you have to be careful because as you can see here, there is pressure in the line still and coolant will come out. Once you have the old one out, Clean everything off, make sure you don't have coolant on any of the electronics or anything like that, and then go ahead and put the new one on. Take the 19 millimeter socket and tighten the new sensor down. I made kind of a mess here, so we're gonna make sure that there's no coolant in any of the electronic parts. We're just gonna wipe everything off real quick and make sure it's clean. Once you're done cleaning everything off, plug it back in and you're good to go. Now that we have the new one in, it's just time to test it, make sure the problem has been taken care of. And then we're going to top off with a little coolant whenever we're done.
right, this is what was happening earlier, guys. You come on in here. No check engine light. It's not directly on 160 like it was before. So before, it was stuck on 160 and the fan ran continuously while the truck was on. So now that the new one's in here, we may just need to add some coolant because it is low now after that little spill. But let's go ahead and see if this stays on or off. Okay guys, so it turned off. That means we did something right. We let it run for a little while. Everything seems like it's back to normal. I took it for a little ride. And as you can see here, everything's back to normal. I guess that's the fix we needed, but if changing the sensor doesn't work, you can always try to change the thermostat as well. Hopefully this video helps you guys out, and if it does, go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you stay up to date on all the videos pertaining to the 2014 to 2019 Chevy Silverado and GMC Zero that we have and the new ones yet to come. While you're at it, go ahead and give the video a like, that way we know you actually liked it and it was helpful. And if you're interested, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Brothers Workshop. There you'll stay up to date on videos and fun activities that we don't post here on YouTube.